Hello everybody, welcome back to Yunus Cake Tips. Thanks for joining me again. Today I'm going to show you, as I promised before, how to make a homemade mascarpone cheese. So first of all, let me tell you what is it. Mascarpone cheese is an Italian cheese that from the uh, region called Lombardy. So, but you can find this all around the world now very easily. So made from curdling milk cream with a citric acid or acetic acid. So it is thick, creamy, a soft cheese with a very high fat content, about 60 to 75 percent. So uh, that curdling is very fine with this kind of uh, application. Uh, it's not really like uh, other cottage cheese or something. It's just a very, very fine curdling. It turns still creamy as a result. So it is very expensive to buy it, but it's very easy to do it. So having said that, dealing with the dairy products is a risky thing to do and it is a bacteria uh, paradise and requires a very high cleanliness. So just warning you, uh, some time ago uh, we were doing a wholesale cake business and uh, we were delivering tiramisu all around town and uh, making that our own mascarpone cheese was very, very uh, cost effective. That's why I like to share this one with you also. Uh, so uh, do it yourself, but with your own responsibility, as I said. So what I have on this table here, the recipe is very, very simple. It's basically that milk and cream mixture. So as I said, creamy and milk mixture. Uh, I have a 600 gram uh, thickened cream here, but you can also use normal uh, fresh uh, whipping cream. It's about 35% uh, fat inside here. And we have also uh, 600 gram milk, but I'm not going to use the milk today. I'm using uh, instant uh, milk powder, which is 75 gram, and mixing with 500 gram water, it makes it also about almost 600 gram milk. So I have three gram citric acid powder here, and uh, very important, I have a sieve with a very special cloth. This cloth is not a muslin cloth, not cheese cloth, because the uh, cheese cloth or muslin cloth is called very, uh, very, f it's not very fine enough. It, it just goes through that it's not going to be happen what we want it to happen. It is a, a very fine cloth, uh, same as like uh, people using for pi pillowcases. So that is what you need to do. All right. So uh, let's start doing it now. So what do we have to do? We have to put everything into the bowl. 600 gram of the cream. So every time I take a cream, heart, there's a lot of left inside. So what I like to do, I'm going to put a bit of water inside here. Right. And close it again. And then shake it. And put it back again. Okay, this is done. Then we put the milk powder into the water. Because it's instant, it will immediately mix it to the milk without heat. Put this inside here. That's it. So all what we have to do now, we have to bring this one to the boiling temperature. All right. Of course, it's like uh, you have to time to time mixing. So it's already boiling. I switch off. Now the whole trick is now uh, I'm going to wait till this milk and cream mixture become exactly 60 centigrade degrees. So otherwise, will the curdling will not going to done accordingly, not going to done properly. So what you have to do, if you leave this uh, milk and cream mixture like this, it will eventually go to 60 degrees. You can measure with this, like for at the moment it's about 81 degrees because just boil and we stop it, all right, 81 degrees. So, uh, but it will be a skin on top. So that means every uh, couple of minutes we come back and then sort of like give a bit of like a, a motion on the top so it doesn't uh, let the uh, milk and cream mixture become a, a skin on top. So that's what I will do. And then when it's become 60 degrees, I'll be with you and I'll show you how to mix together. Okay, now around half an hour passed and uh, uh, it's almost almost there. 
Uh, we could have also done this one uh, pouring right away into the another bowl, cooler bowl. It will speed up the bit process. And also you can also soak it into the icy water. You can also do that, of course. So I had half an hour time. I just left it alone and then come to time to time I came and mixed it together. It was okay. So let's check the temperature. It's about 60.1. This is just right. All right. So let's prepare this one. Uh, I put the cloth, just one layer like this, put it in here, right? And then three gram citric acid powder goes inside here. All right, quickly mix. Pour this one here on top. So I will wait this about two hours. Uh, let the uh, let the uh, uh, cream uh, and milk mixture and then silicone mixture. Uh, while it's still uh, liquid, it will uh, just in the temperature, right temperature, it just starts already dripping. But in two hours after, I will put this in the fridge and then let it uh, there be there about 24 hours. So till tomorrow, I will keep it there and I show you uh, tomorrow uh, how does it look like. So then we can finish the video uh, tomorrow morning. So this is next day. Our mascarpone cheese already released the whey, so I can show you that how much liquid comes out quite a lot as you see over here it's quite a lot so um, I put this cling wrap yesterday just to protect uh, become sort of like a change in the color also like a to to sort of like a skin on the top all right so um, actually uh, this is a little bit more softer and lighter version at the same time more economical version because we're mixing milk with cream so milk is cheaper than the cream etc if we like to have firmer one so, but at the same time, heavier one. So this is a good thing. And at the same time, disadvantage of being heavy uh, result. So you can uh, reduce the milk and increase the cream, or you can leave the milk completely out and you can use only the cream. So it will achieve, of course, much more firmer texture. So that is just right for my purpose, what I'm going to use this one as a tiramisu cake. And I will also add a little bit of gelatin inside at the same time. So a uh, total amount here, 1.178 kilos, so 1,178 gram. So I like to measure now and let you know exactly how much left from this amount. So you can make your calculations accordingly. All right. So uh, this is what we do. Take this one like this on the side. On the side. Make sure your table is really, really clean. All right. And then take it out and take it here and put it on the table like this. All right, it's beautiful. All right, and take this one and then just get it up in the middle, All right? This one will go to wash, and then this one has to be weighed now before we use it to tar. Right, how much is it? 613 gram. So almost half is gone. I just write over here. Let's say about if I wait a bit longer, it will be 600 gram. All right, now it's time to clean a little bit. I just give a couple of whisking motions. It turns very quickly from a runny texture to the a creamy texture. I don't want to whisk too much because I want to keep this tolerant when I'm mixing something else into it, like a, I will mix sabayon for tiramisu, for example. So uh, that is not a really problem. Uh, now, this mascarpone cheese is ready now for my tiramisu cake. Not only that, you can also use mascarpone cheese for endless number of recipes. It can be involved in baking, like a, a baked cheesecake or cream cheesecake, ice creams, parfait, filling, topping, and many more, including just as it is. You can just take it as a spoon, put it on the side of a dessert or a cake. Uh, so just replacing rosette of cream. 
Now it's time for me to set up for my tiramisu cake. I'll see you on my next video, guys. God bless you all. Until to my next one, bye for now.